हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज ट्यूबर क्लोसिस इन प्रेगनेंसी आई विल ब्रीफली डिस्क्राइब ट्यूबर क्लोसिस एंड इट्स कॉजिटिव एजेंट देन विल डिस्कस डब्ल्यू एच ओ गाइडलाइन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ऑफ ट्यूबर क्लोसिस एंड प्रेगनेंसी इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट ट्यूबर क्लोसिस स्क्रीनिंग एंड ट्रीटमेंट इन प्रेगनेंसी ट्यूबर क्लोसिस विद एच आई वी एंड ट्यूबर क्लोसिस इन इन इनफेंट्स is also addressed in this guideline we'll discuss that in my next video so why this topic is important tuberculosis in pregnancy is important because incidence of tuberculosis increased after covid-19 and there is difficult in diagnosis of tuberculosis in pregnancy Uh, due to similarity in normal pregnancy symptoms and tuberculosis symptoms and importance of its diagnosis and management due to associated morbidity and mortality also important because babies born to infected mother with active disease are at increased risk of being infected with tuberculosis now causes of tuberculosis tuberculosis is caused by bacteria mycobacterium tuberculosis it can spread through close contact with people who have tuberculosis and have symptoms of tuber of active disease when someone with active tuberculosis coughs they release small droplets containing the bacteria you can catch tuberculosis if you regularly breathe in these droplets over a long period of time it means that you cannot contact tb if you have brief or infrequent contact with a person who has tb or tuberculosis some people have tuberculosis in their body but do not get ill or have any symptoms which is latent tb this type of tb cannot be spread to others but it can turn into active tb in future when immune system of the patients uh, weakened due to any reason uh, old age or due to any illness now briefly description of mycobacterium tuberculosis mycobacterium tuberculosis also known as coish bacillus and it is a causative agent of tuberculosis and it is first discovered in 1882 by robert coish acid fast stains such as zeal nelsons or, or fluorescent stains such as or a mine are used to identify mycobacterium tuberculosis with a microscope humans are the only known reservoirs of mycobacterium tuberculosis major spread is through air droplets originating from a person who has the disease either coughing sneezing speaking or singing now we will discuss tuberculosis and pregnancy who guideline 2022 pregnant women and up to 6 months of postpartum are at increased risk of developing tuberculosis disease there are many potential reasons for this increased risk including immune system changes in a woman's body during pregnancy nutritional stress hormonal changes and sleep deprivation additionally other factors such as delayed presentation for pregnancy related health care among marginalized population often those more at risk for tb infection the masking of tb symptoms by what are believed to be pregnancy related symptoms example shortness of breath and fatigue and reluctance by healthcare workers to perform certain diagnostic tests most often a chest radiograph during pregnancy may delay the diagnosis of tb or cause it to be missed now screening of tb disease in pregnant women all pregnant women are at increased risk of developing tb disease during pregnancy and in the 6 month period after giving birth pregnant women living in a area of high tb burden a prevalence of 100 cases per 100000 population or greater should be screened for tb disease at every contact with a health worker 
pregnant woman should be screened using the four symptom screening method what is that cough night sweats fever and weight loss screening for weight loss should not just consider absolute weight loss but should also check for failure to adequately gain weight during pregnancy chest radiography can be used to screen pregnant women for tuberculosis disease as long as good practices are followed to prevent radiation exposure to the fetus the benefit of accurate tb diagnosis outweighs the risk of radiation exposure although national guidance should be observed women who screen positive require a clinical evaluation with further testing for this purpose the tb diagnostic algorithms should be followed to confirm tb before start of treatment in accordance with who guidelines the tuberculin skin test or interferon gamma release assays can be used to test pregnant women for tb exposure as well it should be noted that because of immune system changes in pregnancy these tests can be falsely negative among pregnant women recent evidence shows that interferon gamma release assay may perform better than tuberculin skin test during pregnancy sputum analysis for pulmonary tb using molecular who recommended rapid diagnostics should be done following who guidelines pregnant women have a higher rate of extra pulmonary tb so this should be kept in mind during diagnostic workup so screening has three steps first you you screen patient on the basis of its symptoms which are four symptoms screening method if you have any suspicion then you will order chest radiography and on chest radiograph if you have suspicions of tb then you have have further testing with clinical evaluation now treatment of tuberculosis disease in pregnant women it it has two types one drug susceptible tb and second is isoniazid resistant rifampicin susceptible tb now drug susceptible tb pregnant women with drug susceptible tb should be immediately started on the standard drug susceptible tb treatment regime of 2 months of isoniazid rifampicin ethambutol and pyrazinamide followed by 4 months of isoniazid and rifampicin these medications are considered safe in pregnancy now isoniazid resistant rifampicin susceptible tb the standard treatment for isoniazid resistant rifampicin susceptible tb is 6 months of rifampicin ethambutol pyrazinamide and levofloxacin with the addition of isoniazid if rifampicin is only available in combination with isoniazid as a fixed dose combination tablet traditionally fluoroquinolones example levofloxacin have not been recommended during pregnancy or breastfeeding because of possible adverse effects on the infants however these effects may not be as severe as once thought and a treatment regime including a fluoroquinolones is not absolutely contraindicated an alternative treatment regime for isoniazid resistant rifampicin susceptible tb is 6 months of rifampicin ethambutol pyrazinamide and with again isoniazid being permissible if it is a part of fixed dose combination tablet with rifampicin treatment of multi drug resistant tb and extensively drug resistant tb in pregnant women can be complicated 
and studies of various regimes are ongoing. Despite the complications of treating drug-resistant TB in pregnant women, TB treatment should not be delayed. There is a much higher risk of morbidity and mortality to mother and infants from untreated TB than from the side effects of medication. Any adverse events should be recorded to improve knowledge about TB medicines in pregnancy. Additionally, all pregnant women with TB should be screened for HIV if their HIV status is unknown. Uh, now this is the treatment regime for drug resistant TB in pregnancy. And isoniazid resistant rifampicin susceptible TB I have, I have already discussed. Second is multi drug resistant TB. It has longer multi drug resistant TB regime. Amikacin, streptomycin, prothionamide and ethionamide are contraindicated during pregnancy. So this regime should be individualized to include medicines with the best safety profile. The safety of beta culine in pregnancy is not well known. Then it has shorter all oral beta culine containing regime. Because it includes ethionamide which is contraindicated in pregnancy, this regime is not currently recommended for treating pregnant women. Pre-extensively drug resistant TB, beta culine, pretonmanate and linozolate regimes. There are no data on pregnant women for this regime. So no recommendations can be made. An individualized regime should be designed that includes medicines that have the best safety profile. Women on this regime should not breastfeed. Thanks for watching. Uh, I will discuss the next part of the uh, this guideline in my next video. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more updates.